Our next guest plays Camilla Huang on the CW's The Flash, a role that started out small, but everyone liked her so much. They made her a series regular. Just like us, we just met her and we like her already, I so know. we're going to expand your role to a couple. <laughs> Victoria Park is here. Nice to have Hi, you here, Victoria. Victoria. Hi, Victoria. How are you? Thanks for having me. All right, that so must feel good, right? When they expand the role that you got yeah. and you're just going to be a, like a one hit wonder and then it's not you so continue. bad. <laughs> <laughs> no complaints. Oh, let's talk about The Flash because okay. The Flash, I mean, you're part of that comic book lore. You yes. know, people, people are diehard about their comic books. And I know your character is not actually in the comic book. They made it up for the show. Yeah. So how, is that a good thing or a bad thing for you? Yeah, I mean, I think it's, it's, I think it's a little bit of both. I think it would be really exciting to be uh, playing a character that already exists, but then being able to create a character that, you know, doesn't exist completely from scratch. There's a lot of fun to play and a lot of freedom with that. So it's a little, it's a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. You've worked so hard in your career. Tell me a little bit about the journey from Chicago to LA and, yeah. and what that was like for you. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in Chicago um, and then after college, moved out to LA kind of on a whim. You know, I was 22 <laughs> and feeling alive. So I moved out to LA and um, yeah, I wanted to pursue directing or cinematography, which is what I majored in and ended up in an acting class and my manager found me there. And I was really? like, I think I like this better. Wow. So I've been doing it for the past almost 10 years now. Wow. And, uh, yeah. What is that? I mean, not all, you know, not all gigs are home runs, you yeah. know? So yeah. what is it like for, I mean, 10 years is a long time being in this business and clearly you're successful at it. Yeah. So wh what, what is it about you that continues oh, to, to go? That's a great question. Um, I think, I mean, I work really hard um, and I'm really passionate about what I do and I try to be kind, I try to stay humble. So I think that, I mean, those just help you get far anywhere in life, yeah. I think. Um, and I've been really fortunate. I've just been really lucky to have worked with good people. And I guess I'm still here, so yeah. that's good have you ever Have you ever had to have an odd job to support your? <laughs> oh, of course. <laughs> what odd job? Tell me what odd job. Um, I mean, you know, the typical, every actor works at a restaurant. So I was a server for a long, long time. I was a bartender for a little while. Worked at a wine bar. Um, wow. Yeah, and wow. then I still remember like my last day at my um, serving job where I was like, I'm gonna burn my apron, <laughs> like, I'm, <so laughs> done. I'm never coming back here. <laughs> Such a good feeling. Oh, uh, we've all done it. To get to where yes. we need to, we just have yeah. to do whatever what we you have do. To do. Definitely. But you're a complete artist because um, as I was doing a little bit of research ab about you, I, I heard a little tune of you singing. Oh. On the, and you have a lovely voice. Thank you so much. And so, much. is that something you'd like to expand? Um, gosh, it's just something I do as a hobby. Um, I started out singing, and it was the only performing I ever did growing up. I was pretty shy. Uh -huh. So, um, yeah, I don't know. It's not something I'm pursuing professionally, but I really enjoy it. It's something that makes me happy. We well, have do. a great voice. So, yeah, yeah continue, Thank you. continue to do that. That'd be great. Yeah. Um, I, just real quick for the fans of the Flash TV show, because I know they're going to be die hard about this too because you're here um and i know you can't give us any spoilers but tell me um is there something coming in the next few episodes or in the rest of the season that really is going to grip them is there something? yes um so we're in the second half of the season so we have a completely new uh villain and a new storyline and things are kind of starting to roll out so i can't say too much but i will say that um I think it's one of the more surprising villains that we've had and one of the more surprising mm. arcs that we've had. Um, and my character, you know, gets to be a pretty big part of that. So I'm really excited <laughs> for people to see it. And you're not, are you, are you getting any superpowers or are you not? I, I can't say. <laughs> um, okay. That's what you super, want. You want, I know, I know, she I, wants I, superpowers. I, <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, I can't say one more. Let me all ask right. you something. We were all watching the Academy Awards the other day. Yes. And the first time that uh, Parasite won, the director won, mm -hmm. we were all like, Ah, oh, congratulations, that's great, great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then it won the international film, great, great, great. Yep. But when it won Best Picture, we went, whoa, this oh is gosh. a game changer. What were I you thinking? Know. Well, I cried. Uh, I think I cried every time they won. Why? Um, I just, it was so, such an, a personal and emotional experience for me, which I wasn't actually expecting. Um, growing up in the Midwest, I didn't ever really like have a lot of people who looked like me and definitely not on camera. And I don't think you realize how much of an impact that plays on you until you see it for the first time. And so to see people, I'm Korean American, so, you know, speaking my language, who all look like me, you know, entire cast, entire crew up there, um, and seeing it get such, you know, recognition and so many accolades, it just really made me realize that like I have a place in this industry, I have a yep. place in this a world. Hope, right? Yeah, definitely. Super, super hopeful. And I actually, 
wanted it to win, but I didn't, I'm a little jaded, so I didn't think it was gonna win. Right. And so to see it win was like a huge, huge moment for, for me and for a lot of other Korean and Asian Americans. All what right. a great thing, though. I mean, it was really spectacular. So it was yeah. a spectacular victory. Yes, but but yes. it says more about the film industry, I think, that they're, yeah. that they're accepting of something that is so different from them, right? Yeah, definitely. Well, and at I least think, moving in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And I think, like, you know, the great thing about film and what I love about it is that it's about storytelling. And I think it doesn't really matter what language it is. If it's a good story, it's going to, you know, cross any language barrier. And so to see the Academy, you know, embrace that and be like, yeah, we, we love this story regardless of the language was was really really big yeah. I mean you've been in the industry we were talking we were just talking 10 years mm -hmm. I mean have you seen it shift the industry itself in terms of more open to Korean American yeah. more open to diversity more open to women yeah have you seen it over the last 10 years and yeah. what you've been doing I definitely think so I mean I you know there's still a ways to go obviously always yeah. but um, I definitely think I entered at the right time which is another thing I'm just grateful for like timing is everything and so I came in and people are kind of more open to it and now I think you know the industry is really exploding and um, opening a lot more doors for people who look like me so it's it's a good time. Well I look forward <laughs> to seeing you on stage saying I'd like to accept this award on behalf of all the people. Yeah. And she's standing there with right. an Oscar and we say we talked to her back then. And then maybe <laughs> she can sing. She can sing with her award. We'll see. All right. Victoria so Park, thank you so much. Watch The Blast on The CW on Tuesday nights. Yes. yes. Big things coming this yeah. half things coming. this half this half season. All right. Thank Lisa, you. you're never Thank getting you. superpowers, okay? Just get over <laughs> it. <laughs>